Alright, theme song. Hello everyone! Welcome back. It's true. It's true. The last video wasn't a joke. We're having baby number two. I have a little baby in my belly. Crazy. So we asked on Instagram if you had any questions. So why don't we, we just jump in? Literally, we've only posted the announcement. What did you just say? L literally. Literally. <laughs> Literally, literally, we only posted the announcement <laughs> slash us finding out video. Literally, we only. Oh my the gosh! Shut up. We only told the world yesterday for us while we we're filming this. So while it's nice and fresh, let's answer some cues. Yeah. Probably a third of the people asked if it was planned or not, which really surprised me. Interesting. I guess some people didn't think that we would have another baby this early or this soon. Anyway, it was it was planned. <laughs> Well, planned-ish. Yes, it was, babe. We were trying. Yeah, but we were also like really loosely trying. Yeah, but it was, it was not a, <gasps> it wasn't a mistake. It wasn't like we were Shock. going at it, like you're ovulating crazy twice a day kind of thing. We were trying, but not like. I don't know why Gabe thinks that doesn't mean that it was not planned. It was planned. Okay, it was planned. I was tracking was was my planned. ovulation. Okay, it was planned. <laughs> yes, it was planned. But we were just seeing what it. Oh my gosh! Do you know the gender yet? No. Theoretically, no. no, but maybe a little. We don't know if we know. Basically, I found this this ultrasound place that could do like a one-day gender results blood test, yes. and I was like, that's amazing because even I think when we did it with Makaya, it was like a couple days to maybe a week, maybe longer than a week, and I was like. Like, I'm a genius. I've found mm. a one day place. So Which I, was, we were very excited about it. But apparently, results aren't that accurate. I did some Googling, and there are so many forums of people saying, did a blood test or did an ultrasound further on? It's wrong. So we found out, but we're pretending we don't know because it could be pretty wrong. Yes. So, we by don't... pretty wrong, it would just be wrong. Yeah. yeah. So, we don't know. We'll let you know if, when we do know, yeah. if our original test was correct. Yeah. And at this point of recording, we haven't told anyone what the potentially wrong result was that we got. Yes, no one knows. We're just pret literally pretending like we don't know. I don't think about it hardly ever. Me neither. What are your cravings? I love cereal things. Cereal's days. definitely your craving at the moment. In the first trimester, I just wanted like savory, and like meat, which is exactly what I was like the, in my first trimester with Makaya. I like always want a bowl of strawberries at night. You always just want a bowl of strawberries at night. I, that's literally what I just said. No, not now. Like always for your oh, whole no. life. Well, I guess so, but now it's like they taste different. Like I'm not having cereal every single night like you are. Okay, we have to preface. I'm not just having cereal. Yes, you are. I'm having three wishes cereal. Okay, it's like Elite. a grain-free, low-sugar cereal. High protein. Yeah, can't you tell? I don't think I have like crazy cravings. Like I have friends who said that they craved like a jar of pickles and I'm still eating very much the same. Oh, I will say I've been, I was craving Australian foods. I wanted nothing more than- Vegemite toast. No, well, yeah, beef sausages and like veggies. A beef sanger. Like Australian classic. And I was like that with Makaya. I didn't have anything like outlandish. Part of me thinks that that is fake when people are like, I want my salt and vinegar chips dipped in pickle juice smothered with whipped cream. You know, like really mm -hmm. random stuff. I'm like, is that real? <laughs> Surely not. Will the baby be born in Australia or America? But first. <laughs> but yes, we will quickly pause to thank the sponsor of today's video. BetterHelp. If you've watched our channel, you've definitely heard about BetterHelp. They are the world's largest online therapy service. You take a little quiz to fill out your preferences, your needs, like what you're wanting to take from therapy. If you want a female therapist, if you want a Christian therapist, like you have a lot of options there. Super quickly then you will get matched with a therapist, but it is also really easy to change at any point if you aren't vibing with them and you don't need to go through the awkward like i'm not gonna come back and see you ever again you could also call them or text them or video call them it's super easy 
website to use. We have friends who are still using BetterHelp like all the time. For years they've been using it. So as always, if you're interested in trying out BetterHelp, we have an offer that we'll leave down below. BetterHelp.com slash Justin Gabriel and that will give you 20% off your first month. So thank you always to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video, for supporting our channel, and yeah, we'll leave that down below. So Australia or America, I would say like I'm 90, 10 right now. Maybe 85, 15. With God bless America. Gabe is just on a different level right now. Yeah. So if you didn't know, we went to Australia and I gave birth in Australia with Makaya and I had the best experience. I would like do it again in a heartbeat. If Australia wasn't on the opposite side of the planet. Yes, it's... A really long flight we don't have a place to stay like we would either need to like pay for a couple months like at an Airbnb or try and stay with family one of the other things that I didn't love it was really the only thing I didn't love about going to Australia was that I couldn't like store a bunch of milk in the freezer because I knew I couldn't bring it on the plane I felt like I came back to the States when Makai was two months old and I just had to start again, like start from scratch. Something. Also, when Makai was born, we had just moved to Nashville and we were in our first house here that we were only in for like a week, so it wasn't like home yet. Mm -hmm. I feel like you will want to, right after being the giving birth, you will want to be in our home. Totally. The main downside is that I won't be with my family. There like might be a chance that some family could come over, but we're not like expecting, we're not like relying on that. Yeah. So for now, our plan is to give birth in Nashville. I'm excited, it's gonna be different. The American system really does confuse me. To be honest, it confuses everyone. <laughs> <laughs> How far along is Jess? As of recording this? Three four, months. 14 weeks. Maybe almost four months by the time this is out, I don't know. What's four months? 16 weeks. I'll almost be four months, I think. Yes. Do you have names picked out? We have a boy name picked out, but Jess isn't fully sold on it yet. We have like a couple girl names that we liked from last time that we didn't use with Makaya. Part of me wants to know if it's a boy or girl first, and then I'll look into names. Yeah, at that point, I feel like you'd be getting your hopes up like one way or the other or something like that. Which... Yeah, finding a name that you like really love. Yeah. But yeah, the name that Gabe loves is cool. My heart just needs to be softened a little bit. I liked it when you initially brought it up to me. I think it's just very different. Like names are weird nowadays. Like people will just like make stuff up. This isn't that. This is like a name that's like traditionally not really a name, but it's still like, it makes sense. Especially like for our context, it makes sense. Yes. 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 I mean, we'll see. First of all, we'll find out if we're having a boy or a girl, yeah, and then yeah. we'll go from there. No one knows what this name is. No, no family, no. nobody. He will do this to anyone. He's done it to his family, to closest friends. He's like, oh, I have the best boy name. But I can't tell th this is the thing, is I can give all these clues and be like, this or that, and blah, and it's like this, and it combines, and say all the clues, and you're still not going to guess it. The thing is, that makes it seem like it's so out there. Like, what kind of a name could this be? It is pretty out there. It would be very, very unique. I don't think we would ever meet somebody with the same name. Yeah, but it'd be sick. Who were the first people we told? My Your parents, parents and my brother. We had left for it one night to go on a little staycation for our anniversary. That's when we found out. Which is what in you our video. would have seen in the last video. And my parents were looking after Makaya, so we came back and told them like ASAP, like we told them straight away. How did you know you were ready? To get pregnant again? Yeah. This is my philosophy on it. Say you're gonna have four or five kids. This is theoretical. Like, who knows how many we'll end up having. Then you do the math. If you have a kid every two years, you then have to deal with the toddler stage, which is like arguably one of the most difficult, from what we hear, that is the most difficult period of time, for roughly 10 years. Because you have, you know, one, then two years later, two years later, two years later, two years later, and that's like a 10 year time gap. If you just spread it out to three years, between kids and you have a little bit of longer gaps that goes from like a 10 year time period of dealing with a toddler stage to a 15 year time period of dealing with a toddler stage which is kind of a lot that's not really like probably the answer you were looking for but that's something that i think about a lot because it's like how long do we want to be dealing also like there's a lot of benefits, I feel like, too. And I feel like I'm talking a lot here, so button whenever you're ready to say something. Oh, I'm ready, I'm waiting. Oh, okay, you go. I understand you're thinking very literal, like how many years 
are we in this stage for? It was much harder for me. I don't think I was ready. Sort of the same thing with baby number one. Like, I don't think it was a point in time where I was like, I'm ready for, like nothing changed in my body or mm. in my heart. Selfishly, I was like, uh, I am kind of like just feeling myself and mm -hmm. the thought of like, getting pregnant again, going through first trimester again was hard. I think once I have the baby, it's going to feel so right. But um, I think the main thing I was thinking about was age gaps. And that was kind of what helped me think about like the timeline of when I would want to have another baby. I just don't think I fully felt like, oh, I'm definitely ready for baby number two. I don't know if that's yeah. a feeling that people have. You can let me know. But um, I know once the baby is here, I will feel like it'll feel right. Yeah, yeah. Is it twins? Did you see a lot of people thought it was twins because of the ultrasound? This one, they thought that was two babies. <sighs> and I guess it's hard to That's probably funny. see in the video, but it's just one baby. The ultrasound picture that people saw on Instagram, it's of the baby's head down to its butt. And so I think they thought it was like two separate babies. That's funny. We had a lot of people saying, oh my gosh, is it two? No, it's just one. A singular child. Does Micaiah understand what's happening and is she excited? Do you think she understands? A little bit? A little. She knows baby is in mama's belly. Yeah, when we say, where's where's the baby? She knows to point to Jess's belly, which is super cute. And sometimes she'll like hug my belly and give my belly a kiss, which is really sweet. But I, obviously I don't think she can fully comprehend it until the baby arrives. Yeah, I don't think she thinks, oh, a baby comes from a belly. Like, I don't think she yeah, yeah, can yeah. think all of that yet. We've been teaching her a lot about anatomy. <laughs> she'll be two by the time this baby is here. So I think she'll definitely understand more then. Yeah. But she definitely knows baby is in mommy's belly, which is really cute. Mm -hmm. How long have you been keeping this from us? <laughs> December. Since December 19th. Yeah, I actually really like keeping it a secret. I think I could have done more if I wasn't starting to show and I don't know I like the secret what's a hobby you would never push on your child but you would love for them to have wow that's deep that's not that deep to think about me. it's deep I don't know I, yeah I guess it's deep it's deep like when I think of my childhood I would really like them to like love and be really interested in the arts and like yeah musical theater would be really cool because we both love that yeah F1 Formula One I knew I'm definitely gonna push that on them though <laughs> they're definitely gonna watch it with me you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, they'll watch it. Yeah, I'm not gonna but push it like, on them. You need like, to go into carding. Yeah, no, no, no. Are you kidding me? That's way too expensive. <laughs> True. Natural birth. That's the plan. That's what we did with Micaiah, and I would like to try it again. Bro. Yeah. No epidural right here. How do you think the dynamic will change from one to two kids? I think about this every single day. If you guys have gone from one to two, I'd love any tips. We are trying to prep Micaiah as much as we can to be like. Excited. Excited and kind of telling her how like important like her helping us is gonna be and like how, I don't know, just trying to prep her with it so she doesn't get like a shock when a second baby is here. I think the toughest gap will be before the baby can play with Micaiah. Because when the baby's like an infant and requires a lot of your time specifically, Micaiah might be sad or I don't know, whatever. There'll be creative ways to resolve any issues that arise. But then once they can play together, oh, it's game over. Great. Yeah. Yeah, then they have, then they're best friends. But I can already tell like the way that she treats her soft animals. What are they called? Soft animals, right? Soft. Stuffed animals. Stuffed animals. She's so caring to them. It is really cute. And I can just like picture her when we have another mm. baby being so gentle and like wanting to help with a bottle and like yeah. getting a dummy like I and just being really like soft. I think going from one to two will just require us to do a lot of like even more teamwork. We'll see. Yeah. I'm excited guys. August is the countdown. So we'll see you then. Set your timers. Thanks for watching guys. Appreciate Love it. You and we will see you in our next video. Peace Bye. out. Oh yeah, peace out. Are, are we gonna start that again? I don't know. We have been, but Okay. Peace, peace out. out. Do you forget how to do it? From Jess. And Gabriel Conti. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>